We will be using the following components during this video series. The Pocket UT itself, the R-Scan single encoded dry coupled scanner, and a carbon steel four step block which is half an inch in thickness on one end and two hundred thousandths on the other. To assemble the R-Scan and the Pocket UT, we plug in the R-Scan cable to the back of the R-Scan. And on the top view of the Pocket UT, we have our 12 volt adapter input. The transducers plug in to the TT input. the PR input, and the motion control. We press the power button, wait approximately five seconds, Windows CE will come up, followed by Pocket UT and it opens up in the main menu of the instrument. Many of the Pocket UT functions are accessible via the touch screen. Let's enter the A-Scan mode by tapping the A-Scan button to illustrate some of these functions. The top third of the screen allows us to adjust the gain of our signals. The middle of the screen allows us to adjust delay. The lower third of the screen allows us to adjust screen range. We can also adjust the gate by grabbing it and moving it up and down the screen. We can also adjust the length of the gate by grabbing an end to ensure the accuracy of our calibration. We must first zero the transducer on the pocket UT. To do so, we first tap our first icon here, which brings up our A-scan graph. At this point I'll go to Auto Calibration, and at this point I input 500 thousandths on my sound path for gate 1, I press the enter button on the keypad, then I tap the calibrate button. Close out these menus. Then if you notice at the bottom of the screen, our zero point is located here. I touch the center of the screen and slide my delay to the far left hand side of the screen. I can now adjust my screen range by touching the bottom of the screen and slotting to the right. In this exercise, to get an accurate thickness measurement, we must calibrate on the known material we're working with. For this, I will use my four-step block, 500 thousandths on one end, 200 thousandths on the other end. To start this, I've got my A scan set properly with my gate. I tap the gate icon here to open my gate settings. Now I tap the THK and now I tap auto calibration. I put my R scan on the block at the 500,000 side 
I enter 500 thousandths. Then tap the time of flight button. I then move the R scan to the 200 thousandths side. Enter in 200 thousandths on my reference 2. I tap the time of flight button. Then I tap the calibrate button. And you will notice at the top of the screen the 200 thousandths is shown. I slide up my block and the 500 thousandths is shown. Now I can close the menus and the unit is calibrated for this material. To ensure the accuracy of a scan, we must first note the length of the sample that we want to inspect. We can calculate this measurement by using the R-Scan itself. From the bottom icon menu of any scan mode, tap the motion control jog icon. Make sure the scanner is at one end of the sample to be scanned. Tap the zero button. Then move the scanner along the sample. Notice the distance is displayed on the x-axis value here. The Pocket UT is one of the few handheld ultrasonic instruments that allows you to view an A scan, a B scan, and a C scan. Next we will show you how to perform B and C scans. To perform a B scan, we must open the B scan window. We can do this from the main menu, or in this case, if we are already in the A-Scan mode, simply tap the B icon. Tap the settings icon here, this window contains three tabs. The Scan tab allows us to set our length, resolution, and, if using an automated scanner, the speed of the motor. In this case, we are using the R-Scan, we select the encoder option. In the Save tab, we can choose what type of data we wish to save, including time of flight, amplitude, and waveform data at high acquisition. The Display tab allows us to choose what type of data we want displayed. I will choose a time of flight profile. Now I'll close this window out. To begin, either tap the green light icon or press the Start button on the keypad. Move the scanner to the end of the sample and notice the B scan is displayed live. When the scan is complete, we can tap the measurement icon here. To display the A scan graph option. we can see a side-by-side -side view of both the A and B scan graphs. Tapping a point on the B scan shows the corresponding A scan for that point. The distance traveled, amplitude, and thickness of each point is displayed on the top of the screen.
As with the B scan, the C scan window can be opened from the main menu or in the A scan mode by tapping the C icon. Tap the settings icon to open the C scan settings window. It contains three tabs. First is our scan axis that allows us to set up our start point, which is zero, our length of seven inches, resolution of 50 thousandths, and again, a speed if I were using an automated scanner. The index axis tab allows me to again set up a start point, again at zero, length of three inches, resolution in this case of 250 thousandths, and again our automated